god, I actually look so ratchet right now. Hi guys, what's up? Why did I say hi? I never say hi. It's so cold! Hey guys! What's up, it's all, welcome back to my channel. <laughs> today's video we're gonna be doing Starbucks versus Duncan but the only thing I really get at Starbucks is their matcha latte so I decided to do this video because I want to taste test Duncan's matcha latte versus Starbucks matcha latte because it's like better for you than coffee anyway so I thought that that would be a fun video to do today so that's what we're doing yeah sounds like a plan first stop we're gonna stop by the bank and put some money in my account and then we are going to start on our caffeinated journey let's hit the road oh my god i'm actually in so much pain from period cramps oh my god okay i'll see you guys there <laughs> okay so i made it into town but i thought i'd give a little update on the way into town which is like a two minute drive i started feeling this really sharp pain in my thumb and I was like, whatever could that be? And I look down and my thumb is literally bleeding. Okay? My thumb is literally bleeding. I realized I have like some sort of weird ass paper cut. I don't know how I got it and it stings and it hurts like a mother fucker. Like I don't know how these things happen to me. I literally just like, it's just so upsetting. I need coffee. Mm, let's go get coffee. Okay, goodbye. Okay, so first order of business. This is the type of hand sanitizer that smells like like raw and chocolate, and it's actually just disgusting. So I got my matcha latte with whipped cream from Starbucks. This is like my go-to drink, like every single day. I'm really tempted to just like drink the whole thing, but I'm not going to. I'm going to wait until I have my Dunkin' Matcha Latte with whipped cream, and then I will compare the two side by side. Right now, to order Dunkin' on my phone, on the Dunkin' app, because I did just get the Dunkin' app because I'm that cool. My cart is already all set up, and I just need to pay, so. I will see you guys at the Dunkin' drive-thru, I guess. Okay, so, update. When I was ordering my Dunkin', I realized that the spot that I ordered it at is not drive-thru, it's walk-in, which kind of sucks. Okay, I am almost there, so I will tell you guys when I get there. I just want to say, I really did just wholeheartedly run over the curb in the Dunkin Donuts parking lot when I was trying to pull into the parking lot. Like I full heartedly just went over the curb and not up the driveway. Like that's just like how my day is going. That's just how my life is. We are here, we are here at the Dunkin Donuts. That's what I'm about to go do. I'm gonna dug in and dug out. I hate myself. Okay. Hand Sandy. Okay, here's what just happened. I went in there and there were a bunch of like really old creepy fat dudes just like staring at me. So I decided not to film in there because I felt awkward and weird and just uncomfy, like an overall general feeling of uncomfiness. But I ended up actually getting not only the matcha latte, but the new everything bagel bites with like the the cream cheese in the center because i feel like that's like a genius invention and i've never had them before and i really want to try them so i ordered that ahead of time too if my matcha latte from duncan sucks at least i'll have those like that's my thought process so duncan wasn't a complete waste of time but now let's go home and set everything up and try some lattes try some bagel bites get the hand sanitizer off my leather seats that would be amazing what the fuck is on my thing 
I don't even know anymore. Okay, I will see you guys at my house with all the food and drinks. Okay, bye. Okay, we're home. I don't really know how to do this. In each of these, we have a matcha latte with whipped cream. I'm scared to try the Dunkin' one. The Dunkin' one was a lot cheaper, but it, I don't know if it's gonna be as good. So again, this is what I get like every single day from Starbs, Starbucks. But I'm gonna try the Dunkin' one first. That's not awful. It kind of tastes like they didn't use the right amount of matcha for the size that it is. It kind of tastes like kind of bittery, which isn't really what you want in matcha. Kind of grainy. And the Starbucks one. Very smooth, a little less sweet. I prefer Starbucks so much better. It's not like bitter. So good, so good. Okay, my camera's actually about to die. But let me just finish this up really fast and try these bagel bites. They look like this. They're so cute. Okay. Stop. Oh my god. This shit is so good. It was so good. Okay. Overall rating, 9 out of 10 for the Starbucks because I feel like matcha could always be done better. So I'm not going to give it a 10 out of 10. And then for Duncan, I'm going to give the matcha latte a 5 out of 10. It wasn't the best, but I would drink it again if Starbucks wasn't available. The Bagel Bites, a million out of 10. They are so good. So... Go get those and get the matcha latte from Starbucks with whipped cream and you will not regret it. But that is it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed this little excursion of mine. So, <laughs> thanks for watching. If you liked this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up and comment what you prefer, Dunkin' or Starbucks, in the comments. Make sure to follow me on Instagram and subscribe to my channel. Turn on bell notifications so that you get a notification every single time I post a new video. And that's all I have to say. I hope you have an amazing rest of your day. And I love you so much. And I can't wait to see you in my next video. So subscribe. I love you. Bye.